Sup guys, welcome back to my channel. It's not a BM fair rise and today we are talking about the Canon R5 and 7200 and that too the RF version. So let's get into it. <laughs> Never gets old, right? So the first thing that I want to talk about about the Canon R5 is the feel. It feels way better than the R uh, and it's a little bit more chunky but it feels better and it has less weight than the R. Also the more functions and the buttons and the scroll wheel. I have set the scroll wheel to different focusing modes. So my control ring will be the ISO. This will be the aperture and the shutter speed. So I can change my settings like that easily and it doesn't take any time to set up the camera i can just take it out of my bag just shoot and if i want to change my settings like within like two seconds all my settings will be done so that like the run in a run and gun situation this is op So I'm always shooting in 4K on the R5 and the, <laughs> how do I put it? The footage is really, really good. I'm not uh, shooting in C-Log or anything, just the standard picture profile with the contrast at negative four, like all the way down uh, so that I can boost my contrast in post. Uh, the saturation, the sharpness, it's as it is. I don't care that much. And the best part is like, during color grading right it comes out so good so let me show you this is the before and this is the after so talking about the 4k in the r5 when i started editing uh, i tried editing a like a 20 second uh, video of slow motion and by the way it shoots 120 frames per second the first time I'm using 120 frames per second, it blows my mind. So this is the first thing that I shot. I was super impressed by this camera's performance and the drawback, right? <laughs> Every camera has a drawback. So I have an i9. PC and I have to create proxies to edit the 4k footage but it's no big deal in the end this gives me the results that I want and the 4k and the sharpness this gives and the color reproduction mm, so good if this is paired with the 7200 the RF model it's a beast so I love this lens right now this is my main shooter always so it's the RF 7200, the RF 35mm and the RF 50mm for me and coming from an EF model I have used the EF model a few times during my classes at New York Film School and this is so light I don't use the, uh, the mount that it comes because it's so light I don't need it I always mount it on the camera itself and if you remove this it's so small like literally it's this small and if you like and it's so lightweight i love this lens right now i have sold my 85mm because this is my new baby now and coming to the lens it's response time the focusing point the focusing speed so good uh the other thing that I noticed it's I'm like nitpicking I don't know if the EF model has it so there's a small groove or line in each parts of the lens so if you are using the tripod holder right it can align for vertical and horizontal shots so it's very easy to switch from vertical to horizontal video when I'm using this lens so. Thank you. 
So the next thing that I wanna tell you guys, like when I'm using the R of 7200 with the Canon R5, it works so good. The in the in body stabilization is so freaking good. So when you use these both together, the image that you get, the videos that you get is so freaking good. So in the case of videos, the in body stabilization of the R5 with the stabilization of the R of 7200 handheld in a bot it's so freaking smooth so i will show you a footage 120 frames a second but look at it it's so freaking smooth So the next thing that I wanna show you guys are the photos and the videos that I took with the R5 the, with the 7200 also with the 35mm and the 50mm so guys enjoy this b-roll and after that we'll talk about 8K Well, 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 oh wow, this audio is so crisp. There's always a first time for everything and I forgot to hit record while I was shooting yesterday and need to record everything again, just the ending part. So let's get into it. Talking about 8K now, uh, even if you zoom in and then zoom in more and even more, you have enough ammo quality. So. If I am shooting something very distant, even my 200 can handle, I can put it into 8K and zoom in like thrice and still have a 4K or a 1080p quality. So that's the only use for 8K in my book. Other than that, I won't use 8K. And I haven't recorded 8K or anything because I never needed it. So I have recorded a few 8K clips on my terrace during sunset and here you guys go. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button, also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified for future videos. So this is fun and the next video will be a product photography of shooting your own gear at home in the studio setup or something like that. It will be dropping next Tuesday at 5 p.m. Indian time. So till then, bye bye.